Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so I was thinking about something this morning whilst I was getting ready for work and I thought to myself, do you know where I am now? And I've recently turned 30 a couple of weeks ago. And I say a couple of weeks ago, what are we? We were in September and I turned 30 at the start of July. So a couple of months now. And I was getting ready and I thought to myself, do you know, for the one... And there's not many times I can really I can really count where I can actually think that I'm just content at the age I'm at. I'm not stressing about what's going to be happening in the next couple of months. I look forward to week upon week. Um, whereas as opposed to in my 20s, that I was really, really kind of almost quite heightened and quite anxious at certain milestone ages, you could say. Um, and I've never really been able to get out of that until kind of turning 30. It's almost kind of like the pennies dropped that actually it is only just a number and it actually doesn't determine very much. In fact, actually, it determines very, very little. Of course, as long as we're healthy and well and our mind is healthy at whatever age nowadays, we can really do absolutely anything we really want to. As long as we want to do it, we can do it. And of course, determination is a lot behind that. As long as we want to do something, we can. And as long as health is OK and our minds are is OK and sound and we're and we're mentally sharp and strong and healthy, then we can do that. We can do whatever we want to. And of course, agile and healthy. Now, why am I saying all of this? Well, my friends, my subscribers and anybody who's watching this at whatever age, don't forget to turn the page. And I loved that when it came into my head this morning. But it is simply that. I always say to anybody I know that if you imagine our life is like a book and to write yours how you would want to read it. So, for example, if you're feeling quite run down, you're feeling quite low in your life and you're feeling quite wrapped up in a cycle, but you're thinking that perhaps it's a little bit mundane and you could really do with just turning your life. I often say this when I'm having a bad day. Um that I often wish I could turn my life upside down and whatever dropped out of it, I'd leave it there. Um, I never say it so much now since I've hit 30, I have to admit, because I'm really trying, I've been quite stressed lately with work, but I've been trying to really contain it so it doesn't sort of explode almost. Because usually when I get really, really stressed, I lose quite a lot of hair and I want to keep my hair <laughs> and have good hair. But getting back to what I was saying, it really does have such an impact on us when we actually look at life like that, I feel. Because if you think of it, that we have, there's no, there's no getting away from it. We have one life. Okay. So think of it like that. So think of it such as whatever I do today, as long as I've tried my best, as long as I've, I've worked my hardest, as long as I've been pleasant, I've been kind, I've helped the people I've come across. And to be honest, I've been genuinely a nice person and I've tried to help where I can. And I've tried to make a difference. And what more can you do? Once this day is done, that's it. There's no going back to it. So it's really, really important that I always try to say to people that actually if you're going to say something to somebody, to a loved one or a friend, say it to them. Never, ever put it off because nobody knows what's just around the corner, sadly, and hopefully it's going to be a positive. But there are unfortunate things in this life where, of course, things don't always go as what we would like. And of course, taking us back to that notion that we should try to live our lives and write our lives as that of a book of which we'd hope to read. You want it to be exciting, fulfilling, so spontaneous, and really, really packed with everything really bright and cheerful. Of course we want that, but in the harsh reality of it is, sadly things happen. But why I say to you, at any age, don't forget to turn the page. Because yeah, I, I know you have to you have to stay positive through every situation. And you may be thinking, honestly, he's so cheery, he's so smiley, he's so positive all the time. I have my dark moments as well. But the things what keeps me stable, and I say stable, let me finish, stable on the path of life, okay, number one, my family, number two, my faith, and they work hand in hand, um, and I have an incredible support network from my parents, and on my parent table, my dear nan, my mum's mum. But it's important, I always find for us, not to get wrapped up around things which we have no control over. So for me, throughout my 20s, when I was hitting 25, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I've not got this in plan, I've not got this done, I'm not at this point in my life, I'm not what I define as successful, which is a whole other board game, by the way. And I would really get quite stressed and quite anxious and wrapped up to the point where actually it would start to affect my health. And you know what, that, it wasn't just when I was 25, it happened when I was 21. 
when I hit 21, it was, oh my God, I'm no longer a teenager. And it should have obviously happened at 20, but it happened at 21. And now I'm an adult. I need to do this. I need to do that. Of course, it was exciting, but it really was that kind of same feeling, that roller coaster of emotion. What next? And it's that control, which we don't necessarily have. Of course, because what we spoke about, as much as we want a bright and amazing life and, and full of good and wonder and amazing things, which hopefully that's going to happen. But there is, of course, bad things happen as well. And that's unfortunately just the way life is. But it makes us stronger with how we deal with those things. So it's that control I often find that myself and others almost get quite weary about turning uh, a, a milestone age. But as I say, at whatever age, don't forget to turn that page. Because it's important to keep living, to keep going on in that journey, to not get down about things that we don't have any control over and to enjoy and to really throw yourself in the actual time which we've got right here and right now. Because often when we get so wrapped up about just a number, it holds us back from so many things. And for example, you could spend a whole evening worrying and stressing over because you're turning an age. For example, a lot of people questioned me when I was turning 30. Oh, no longer in your 20s now. What are you going to do? This, that and the other. And actually, I would say I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. It could be mine. Oh, I've done all that stress and that stressing and worrying in my 20s. But you know what? I'm fine. And anybody who's turning a milestone age, whether it be 40, 50, I've seen it in my family. I really, really have. I've seen it in my nan, bless her heart. I lost her on the 31st of May, 2021. I looked after my nan through her battle and journey alongside my mum with Alzheimer's. My nan is my absolute world and she is with me always. I feel her guiding me. I feel her her wisdom. I feel the magic, the memories. I feel the warmth of my nan's love all the time. She always said to me that she would never see me grow up, but she would always be looking over me and she'd always uh, be with me. And um, when I was born, my nan was 67, but she was always such a glamorous and youthful lady. It was always incredible. My nan never, ever looked her age. Always, always at the hairdressers, always coloured hair. She never wanted grey hair. She always had, she was always beautifully dressed and very, very glamorous lady, as is my mum. And um, their bond was absolutely in, in just, it would sometimes almost bring me to tears. And I mean, almost like sisters, not mother and daughter, but a very magical bond in any way. Um, when my nan hit 80, because I lost my nan at the age of, uh, she was just turning 95. And um, when my nan hit 80, it was almost like that in a way that she put herself on a shelf and that actually she used to keep saying that it, at that age, she couldn't do this possibly, or she wouldn't do this now because apparently at a certain age, she didn't do that. And I used to talk to her and I used to, and in the end, she would absolutely wipe those thoughts aside and she would, and she would sort of, um, I'd say you, she'd have a she'd have a word with herself, and um, then she'd get on her way. And then honestly, the things she'd done right up until her ninetieth birthday, um, and Nan started slowing down. I would say in about the last eighteen months of her life, but just an absolutely incredible inspiration, and her physical agility and just everything. It just inspires me every single day. It really, really does how my Nan held herself in her life, and it does with my parents as well. And of course, I think it's a life experience thing, but like my nan would find that actually it was just a number. It was still important to turn that page. Even when my nan's memory started to decline, she still had a life. And whatever age she was at, when she was approaching 90, and I never ever forget it on my nan's 90th birthday, the wit and the determination was incredible. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I, um, my, I went to see my nan, um, with my mum and my brothers on her 90th birthday. And, um, when I walked into the lounge where my nan was, um, she had, she was absolutely done up to the nines, as my nan used to say. And she had all these pearls and her hair was done absolutely incredible, like a film star and her makeup. And, and she looked absolutely just beautifully stunning. And you would have never ever thought she was 90. And, um, I bent down to my nan and I said, nanny, nanny, I love you so much. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy 90th birthday. And she looked and she paused and she said, 80th? And I just, honestly, we, we laughed and, and it was almost just like that, whatever, if she was 70, if she was 80, if she was 90, or if she was 100, it didn't matter. Because to her, what kept her going, as 
throughout all of her family was, um, all of her life, sorry, was her family. The determination of wanting to be there and look after her family. And, and do you know what that, oh, honestly, it just warms my heart so much. And, um, she turned, she kept turning the page. Do you know what I mean? Even when she had Alzheimer's, she would constantly try new things. She'd constantly do different things. She'd never sit still. And what I take from that, um, reverse that, reverse that back, because even my nan at 80, my father at a certain milestone age as well, had the same sort of almost like a bit of a freak moment to think that actually you're turning this age. Yeah. Let it set in. Sort you kind of have a, have a word with yourself. Take some time to, to sort of put things into perspective, but then turn the page. Um, my dad and mum and nan, they absolutely mean the world to me and all my family does. And I speak from a lot of humble sort of different, sometimes difficult, sometimes amazing, sometimes really hard situations I've been through as well. Um, and yeah, I speak from experience, but yeah, I mean, I went through all of that in my twenties, but it's so, so important to remember that actually we have these moments and you actually think, wow, this is happening. I'm going to be in this situation, but there is a, there is God willing, there is going to be another day tomorrow and you're going to get there and you're going to have so many amazing things ahead of you. So just keep remembering to turn the page because at the end of the day, age, it is a number. And as long as we're healthy and well, we can do anything we want to. And you will. And you will get there. You really, really will. I really hope that resonates with, with somebody. And um, when I get these thoughts and these things, which I sometimes take a bit of time to think about in my own mind, I love to then share them on my channel. So I really hope that resonates with somebody. And I hope that helps to think that actually, yeah, you are whatever age. But just remember, Turn the damn page, because whether you're 18, whether you're 21, whether you're 40, whether you're 70, perhaps you're even turning 100 and you're still using a laptop, whatever age, you can do and be and say and enjoy and do whatever. Just remember to keep turning that page. Learn new things, explore new things, have adventures. Just keep that book rolling, keep those pages turning. And remember, Write your book how you'd wish to read it. What a great notion, I think, to end on. If you'd like to ask me any questions, or if you'd like to just absolutely anything at all on any other sort of topics or areas, always happy to talk, happy to help, happy to give a little bit of an insight more in my life as well. So if you'd like to do that, please feel free and leave uh, a comment down below, and I will do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. On that note, God bless. <laughs> Take great care, and I will be seeing you real, real soon. Thank you very much for being here. It really does mean the world. So until next time, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye for now.